As you may have seen last night, the Microbit app for Apple devices was released. So I'm going to show you briefly how that works, how to connect it to the Microbit, and also how to flash code onto the device. So we'll start with pairing the device. So you go to Connections on the app, and pair a new Microbit, and then you follow the steps through. So firstly, you've got to hold A and B, and then press Reset. And what that will do is it will put the device into pairing mode and you can see it scrolling across there. Press next and it will ask you to copy this pattern there. So pretty, <laughs> lovely. And then I have to press A again. Press next and searching for the micro bit and the pairing was successful so press OK. What that will now allow me to do is to send code from here onto the micro bit. So if I go home and press flash, I can go into my scripts. I previously signed into the micro bit site as a teacher. Here's all my scripts. I'll do the phone YouTube test. Rather than actually saving it, I have to go into edit, and once it's loaded here, so it's a very basic program, just showing the string hi there, I tap the button up here, the confirmation message says your hex file is ready, I then get the option to open that file within the microbit app, go to flash, and it will now find the micro bit and this process takes uh, about 45 seconds in total for it to take place which is longer than it would take for the code to be downloaded using a cable connected to a computer for example. Something that the iOS app is also lacking compared to the Android one is the ability to actually interact with the device. So you can't use a button on the micro bit to trigger the camera for example, or you can't get the micro bit to actually display if there's an incoming call, which would be really nice as a wearable bit of technology for example for children to use. Hopefully that will become available in future releases, but only time will tell. So you'll see that the blue bar has almost gone across and once that reaches the end just get one final resetting message at the bottom and you can see that the hi there YouTube message is being displayed and scrolled across the screen. And that's how it works.